Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a few pieces that I've picked up recently that I wanted to share with you that are new. Some of them are a little bit older, but I wanted to combine them all in one video. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is foundation. I haven't got anything on at the moment because I've got a special foundation to try from an amazing makeup artist by the name of Patrick Tarr. So this is the Patrick Tarr Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. So I picked this up in the Cult Beauty recent sale because I didn't pick this up when it first launched. Now this actually comes with its own makeup complexion brush, but it was sold out. So I decided to use this one instead, which is the Sonia G Mini Jumbo Base Brush. And I'm gonna use that with this formula because the formula is quite sheer. Now before I show you this, I just wanted to show you how I picked the color. So I went for light medium one, and it was a combination of a website called Find Nation, which is Find Foundation. And I also had a look at some swatches and read a lot of reviews and wanted to pick the right color because in the UK, you can't actually go physically into a store to test this out. So I hope I've picked the right color. You get 12 grams of product. The powder, you get nine grams of product. I hope you like the cat's ears, by the way. I bought this ages ago and my hair is at that weird stage where it needs to be cut. So apologies if it is distracting. <laughs> but I think it's cute. Anyway, so this is the Patrick Tarr Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. What's interesting about this is, as soon as you start touching the packaging, your fingerprints go all over it. So there's not much you can do about that. Now it's quite deceiving because there's a line here and I do love this product, but sometimes I want to lift it from the line, but actually you have to lift it from below. You get a plastic compartment, which is a divider between the two. So this is the color that I thought would match my skin tone, and I think it's a pretty good match. And then I've got the powder here, which I will show you later how that looks. I'm gonna do a swatch for you, and then we're gonna put it on the face. So let me show you the swatch. That's how it looks on my finger. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's the swatch. So far, so good. I had to go in with a couple of layers because I suppose it wasn't that much coverage, so I had to go in a few times. I'm just gonna add one more layer. So that's with the foundation on. I'd say that this color, although looks a bit darker on my hand, actually looks a bit fairer on my skin. It's probably a good shade to wear now. I think I'll probably need a deeper shade when it comes to the summertime because I think this is like a perfect winter shade, but so far so good. And what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of his powder on my T-zone and then I'm gonna let that sit throughout the video and then I'll give you my thoughts on the initial wear and then I will try and touch base with you later on in the day just to show you how this has fared. But it feels very light on. I did have to go in a couple of times, I'd say. I will probably warm this up a bit because 
I feel as though it's a little bit on the lighter side. Even though this was my sort of match, I could have gone maybe one shade darker. I still like the finish. It's very even and it looks very natural. We're gonna go in with a little bit of powder now from the bottom part of this. So before I go on, I just wanted to show you the two new Sonia G brushes that I picked up. And this was the brushes she brought out recently that were part of her limited edition collection. One is the mini Niji brush, which is the smaller version of her Niji Pro or Niji brush that she's got. And then the other one was more like a buffer brush. And this is the smaller version as well. So these are absolutely beautiful. And what I thought I'd do was use the Niji brush for the powder, but I wanted to show you how this looks. I'm sure you'd agree these are stunning. So that's the Niji brush and that's the buffer brush. So I'm gonna take the powder now. It's very fine, which is lovely. I'm just gonna put it on my T-zone. That's where I tend to get quite shiny. So far, so good. So the next product that I'm really excited to show you is actually a new launch from Tom Ford. It is Tom Ford's Traceless Soft Matte Concealer. This is the color Latte and it is numbered as 3W0. I went into store and this was the color that was best matched to my skin tone. So I'm just gonna show you how it looks. This one has literally just been released, so I hope it will give you some idea if you're a similar skin tone to me, how it looks. It's really, really nice packaging. It's actually like the lipsticks in terms of the shape, which is unusual for their concealers because normally it's not in this shape or packaging. You've got Tom Ford written across here. The amount of product you get is 3.5 grams of product. That's what it looks like in terms of packaging. So I'm just gonna open it up for you there. And then you can see me turning it and then you can see the color. So this is the color Latte. So I'll just show you the hand swatch of Latte. This is Latte. So I had a little bit of Latte from my hands. I'm just gonna use some of that first. So I'm just gonna take Lisa Eldridge's brush to just put it under my eyes. It feels really nice and creamy. It actually feels really, really nice. I'm just gonna add a tad more. By the way, I just wanted to show you my new ring from Monica Vanetta and oh, it's so, so pretty. I picked this up during her sale, stunning. And my nail polish is a new Hermes color in Rose Tamise, which I've been on the waiting list for ages and I finally picked it up. It's gorgeous. I have to say this concealer is really lovely. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit more brighter under the eyes. The foundation looks very nice, very natural. Product. And we're gonna move into another new product that I picked up. So I also picked up the new Jones Road bronzer in the color Golden Tan. And this one has 5.7 grams of product. So this was what I was paired up with when I went to the store. I love the minimalized packaging with um, Jones Road. It's very, very nice. And this is what the color looks like. Okay, so let's do a quick hand swatch. So that is the bronzer shade, which is called Golden Tan. So what I'm gonna do is test out the new Sonia G buffer brush now. I'm gonna go into the bronzer and it's got quite a bit of kickback, but that's fine for a bronzer, that's absolutely fine. And I'm just gonna dab it on my cheek like that and just blend it in. In a buffing motion. It's 
It's really blendable. I love the way you can just build. Wow, this might be my new best bronzer. It feels stunning. Looks so natural as well. So far we have looked at three items. We've looked at a foundation, we've looked at the concealer and the bronzer. So where do we move on next from here? So let me show you something else that I've picked up. So this was launched recently. I didn't get time to actually review this, but it's the Natasha Denona Mini Pastel Palette. And I just wanted to just put on a simple look for you because I'm gonna be demonstrating some amazing lipsticks that have also just launched. So it comes in this cute mini size. It's the five eyeshadow palette. It's 0.8 grams with five pieces. That's how it is. So these are the shades, really cute. Okay, so let's just take a look at each color. I'm just gonna do an arm swatch for you now. So the first one we're gonna swatch is Sea Star. The second color is called Ari. That's Ari. The third shade in the middle is called Ontario. So this is Ontario. This one is called Twiggy. It's very nice. And the final shade here is called Aurora. So this one is called Aurora. Beautiful colors. So I have finished my eye look, which is a lovely pastel-y color, and I love this kind of spring-like look. But what I'm gonna do now is put a bit of blush on, and I have got the Miracle Balm from Jones Road as well, and I picked up the color Flush. In this you get 50 grams of product. That's how it looks. And this is the color, it's a gorgeous pinky shade, and I'm really excited to try this. So before I put this on, I'm just gonna do a quick swatch for you. So it's quite a clear color. It's not hugely pigmented, but I think it's meant to give a flush of color. If you can pick that up at all. So this isn't actually a blush, it's more of a miracle balm. So it has a balmy kind of scent to it. So it gives a kind of like a highlighter blush effect. It's kind of got that cream, formula. So I'm going to use my finger to get the balm to activate and move. It's really clever because it's very sort of sheer but when you put it on you can see the colour come through. So swatches aren't really that helpful I think for this product. I don't know if you can see that flush of colour. It's just like a balmy feeling.
gives my skin a lovely kind of sheen. That's lovely. Okay, so we're moving on to the three lip products that I picked up from Hermes that has just launched. These are their new shiny lipsticks, which actually goes really well with this look using the balm that I just used from Jones Road, as well as more lighter products that I've picked out today. And they come in three shades. I bought all three because I'm a huge Hermes lipstick fan and I love collecting the Hermes lipsticks. So, so I picked up Coral Parasol, which is 06 Brilliant, Brune Yachting, which is 22 Brilliant, and Beige Croissette, which is 10 Brilliant. So I'm going to show you all three now and you can see how they all look. So this is the first one. It comes in the gorgeous Hermes packaging that we love. Push it out. You have the pouch. Oh, isn't that pretty? You've got a sort of carousel pattern at the bottom. I feel like I should be on a beach or something. Very, very cute. I'm just gonna show you the product. So this is the first one and you can see the Hermes written across here and it's quite sheer and very summery. So I'm going to quickly do a hand swatch for you of this one. So this is the hand swatch for the first colour. It's very sheer but has a gorgeous tone to it. it has the usual Hermes scent. So let's apply. This is very cute. So this is the first shade, Coral Parasol. It's very moisturizing, this formula. There is a slight tint to it. You can see that I have something on, but it's not too in your face. It's a very kind of light color, but has, yeah, just a lovely finish. This is gorgeous. This is Coral Parasol. So I'm just going to wait and I've added some mascara and some brow, but this is the finished look for Coral Parasol. So I've just gone to remove that lip and we're going to go on to the two lips that are left in a minute. Before that, I just wanted to show you the nail polish that I have on. This is the one I mentioned earlier, which is the La Main Hermes Nail Enamel. And it's in number 49, which is Rose Tamise. And I love the way that Hermes do their packaging because you've got the gorgeous box and then you've got the nail polish inside. Now I've been waiting for this colour to come back into stock for about a year, I think. I think it's taken a year for this to come back in. I've been stalking the Hermes website. Every time I've been to an Hermes counter, do they have this color and they haven't. Then suddenly it appeared out of nowhere. So I'm so happy that I picked this up. I should really get another one because I, I love it that much, but I think this is permanent. So I'm not in any hurry. But if you love nail polishes, I tell you now, one coat, that's how good it is. And the color is just so classic and so beautiful. This one is 49 Rose Tamise, but I know this sold out very, very quickly. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna show you is the color Beige Croissette, 10 Brilliant, again in the beautiful Hermes packaging, the box. Ooh. That is, again, another stunning piece of packaging. So this is the next color I'm gonna show you and it is beautiful. This is Beige Croissette. So we're just gonna do a hand swatch. Pretty. Oh, I do love that smell on the lipstick. Okay, so here we go. That's beautiful. This one doesn't have any shimmer in it. The shimmer that you see was from the previous one that I've just wiped off. So this is 
beautiful. The colour is stunning on a deeper skin tone. This is going to look gorgeous. It's like that hint of colour and it's very wearable and it's a colour that you can wear every day which is perfect. I'm just gutted that this is limited edition so I don't know why they keep doing this. They keep bringing out these gorgeous shades that are just limited edition. So this is Beige Croissette. So I have saved this final darker shade to the end because I really wanted to show you how it would look. Now I've taken off the second lip and we're moving on to Brune Yachting. Stunning again, absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Again, so I'm just going to do a hand swatch for you of this colour. So let's take a look. Oh, that's pretty. What a beautiful colour. I think this is my favourite out of the three actually. It's got a punch to it but it's a really lovely colour. Very unique actually. And my lips feel so moisturised. The formula is fantastic. This shiny lipstick formula. If you have dry lips like I do or you have quite large lips like I do, what happens is, is that your lips get cracked quite easily and these feel almost like a lipstick balm formula in one and just helps to condition your lips it's beautiful wow please don't make this limited why are you making it limited so that's the final color brune yachting wow beautiful So I just wanted to quickly show you my check-in for Patrick Tarr. It's been about four hours since I filmed and since I put it on initially. And so far I am loving the finish. It doesn't look weird, it stayed very, very nice. And yeah, I just wanted to show you how it looks so far. So this is a 7 p.m. check-in. This is the final check-in and Foundation is still looking nice. So that's everything I'm going to be showing you today. I'm quite excited because today has been a little bit different for me, exploring different brands as opposed to focusing on one brand in the video. I've really enjoyed using the Patrick Tarr foundation. Actually, the more that it's sitting in my skin, the more I'm loving it. The glow looks really, really beautiful as well as the bronzer that was from Jones Road and the the flush balm that I use, which has created this gorgeous effect on my skin. The eyeshadow from Natasha Denona is very spring-like, very cute. It definitely is one for like just putting in your handbag if you want something quick and easy. The lipsticks from Hermes have really surprised me because I wasn't sure how the formula would be being shiny, but I would say the last two that I did were very pigmented, whereas the first felt like more like a balm because it was slightly pigmented, but not as much as the other two. Well, if you want to pick up two, I'd say go with the last two that were much more pigmented on sort of a darker skin tone like myself. If you're fairer, then I'd probably go for the Coral Parasol, which was that lighter shade, but I still love all three, and I'm so glad that I picked up all three. I hope you love my little ears today. It's a bit of fun. I definitely would recommend the Jones Road products, which were fantastic. The bronzer is amazing. The Patrick Tarr was fantastic as well and the lipsticks from Hermes have just really surprised me in terms of its quality and how it looks. Also don't forget the nail polish, it's very very good so if you are looking for 
a nail polish Hermes is definitely one to check out if you want a one swipe situation so thank you very much for watching my video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell what will you be picking up I'd love to hear and I look forward to seeing you in my next video thank you